Thank you so much for a wonderful introduction. Good morning, everyone. With lots and lots of vision and good thoughts, Ralph's research medley had decided to have a Toastmasters club, which can improve communication and leadership skill of the members associated. He could have planned anything for his betterment, however, he went beyond some limits and introduced this beautiful structure to us, which exists even very famous today. Going beyond is something like a famous saying that we keep hearing everywhere in office with our clients, with our customers and so on. And nowadays, everywhere, we expect that from uh, grocery shops also, that when we buy uh, grocery uh, groceries for a month we expect a biscuit packet that's beyond whatever we are planning right the expectation is always going beyond nowadays having said that our tm modi who is the master of ceremony for this event has decided to revolve around the topic going beyond let me invite on the stage our tm modi toast master geeta she is passionate about improving communication and leadership skill, very much closely associated to Toastmasters. That's way beyond my imagination of having communication and leadership as passion. She also takes English speaking classes. Can we have a big round of applause to welcome Toastmaster Geeta into the virtual stage? Thank you so much to Adityam Ratish for this wonderful introduction. Good morning to one and all present in today's meeting. I welcome you all to today's meeting. And it was, I should tell you, Adityam Ratish, it was a wonderful interpretation of the theme going beyond. Yes. So friends, while you had one interpretation from Adityam Ratish, so let me tell you what exactly I have thought for today's meeting. Friends, right from waking up in the morning till we retire or we go to bed, we perform so many activities. But if you just think, of, think about it, all these activities are restricted to only a few roles, maybe related to our immediate family and the work we do. Just by playing a few roles, are we really doing justice to our society? Or when you take a larger picture, are we really doing the justice? No, as a, uh, being a part of this ecosystem, we are not restricted to only the three or five roles that we play every day. We are also, when you take a larger picture, we are also responsible towards our society. So we need to take, uh, we are responsible towards our family, our extended family, our friends. We are also responsible towards our ecosystem. For example, we should be, uh, we should be ensure that our environment is, uh, clean and pure and our resources are really maintained and all of this and we are also responsible to the animal kingdom so are we really doing justice so I'm asking you this question once again are we really doing justice to just by playing these three or five roles think about it before that let me get into the meeting structure so as you all are aware now our meeting is divided into three parts the first segment is going to be the prepared speech session, where today we have uh, 12 speech speakers who will be delivering their icebreakers. After which we will have a very hot, uh, uh, a beautiful table topic session. I'm sure the table topic master will be ready with wonderful topics for you to in prospect and think about certain things in life. And then we will also have an evaluation session. So this is the evaluation, evaluation session is this one session which is very important in the Toastmasters meeting because this is where our speakers get instant feedback regarding how they have performed and they also have get enough points or feedbacks as to how to improve themselves to take their speeches to the higher level. So before we go into the meeting part, I think I should introduce to you all the general evaluator for today's meeting. Okay. so. The general evaluator for today's meeting is Toastmaster Abirami. As you are all aware, Toastmaster Abirami is the chief coordinator of the speech, Speechcraft program. And she's also a chartered accountant by profession and she's working with the Barclays Bank. 
and to tell you more about her, she's also serving as the president of Chennai Toastmasters Club. With these few words, I invite you Toastmaster Abhirami to please brief your objectives as the general evaluator for today's meeting. Thank you Toastmaster Geeta for that very warm words of introduction. Good morning speechcrafters and fellow Toastmasters. In the first year of my career, when I was sitting there for the appraisal, I got a feedback, a mixed feedback. Abhirami, you did well in these areas, but still these are some areas which you'll have to work on. Again, in the second year, it was the same and it went on. After three years, I realized it is not that there is something wrong with me or there's a lot of scope for improvement. I realized that this feedback is more of a pattern because there is always room for improvement. Now, for champions, feedback is their breakfast. They look out for feedback. So today, as part of being a general evaluator and the evaluator's team, me and my team will work to give you valuable feedback on which you can work on. So to support me in my endeavor today, I'll have two teams. One will be the tag team and the other will be the set of evaluators. Now the tag team will give you more of a generic feedback, which is in terms of how much time you have taken or how many pauses or hours that you have taken in your speech or what grammatical aspects can be improved, etc. And then there's a specific team which will give you a specific feedback, which will be the individual evaluators who will evaluate the specific speeches and give a feedback on what went well in the speech and what can go better. Now, to state the specific objectives, let me call upon my first team, which is the uh, tag team. First, let's hear it from the timer for today. So the timer for today is uh, speechcrafter uh, Shri Priya. Is Shri Priya here? I yes, think... yes, Abrami. I am, yeah, yes, I'm, uh, I have joined the call. Okay, great. Yeah, I was just confused with your second imprint. Okay, so to say a few words about uh, speechcrafter uh, Shri Priya. She was one of the first people in this group to put her hand for the prepared speech. She was there giving a table topic in the first session. And even in the tag role, she was there raising a hand saying first, okay, let me pick it. Always, isn't it, you know, kind of a little difficult to go first. It is new. There's some fear. But let me tell you, there is always something called as a beginner's advantage. You are the first. So you can set the benchmark, whatever you want to. You don't have that chance of being compared. So here you go, roaring like a lion. The timer, speechcrafter, Shri Priya. Over to you. Thanks, uh, General Evaluator Abrami. Uh, good morning, all uh, Toastmasters and speechcrafters. So as a timer, uh, today I'll be uh, timing the, I'll note down the time of all the to table topic sections and uh, the formal speeches and the evaluations. And I'll also be alerting each speaker on the time left uh, using the different flags, that is a green, orange, and uh, red flags, uh, denoting the times uh, that time that is remaining on each speeches. So, for example, uh, uh, if the uh, speech is uh, between, like if the speech is two to three minutes, I'll be flashing a green card uh, at a minimum of two minutes, and I'll be flashing an orange card at uh, around two to 30, two minutes, 30 seconds, and I'll be flashing the red card at a maximum of three minutes. And each one of you will be getting a, uh, like a grace time of 30 seconds, uh, after which I'll be flashing the time up card. Uh, and uh, after, uh, after, after which the uh, speech will be considered as disqualified. And also I'll be noting down the time taken by each of yeah, each speech uh, that is undergoing and I'll be uh, submitting, like I'll be displaying the report at the end of this meeting uh, when uh, 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 when uh, I'm called, called up on the stage. Uh, so this is all about my role today. Uh, thank you and uh, over to General Evaluator Abhirami. Thank you, Speechcrafter Sri Priya. That was amazing for the first time. So now next we will have our, uh, our counter for the day, speechcrafter Manoj Kumar. 
now one thing that i noted about manoj kumar is very he's very uh, spontaneous on stage the spontaneity generally comes when you start enjoying the stage so when will i enjoy the stage when i have i'm prepared i kind of know what i want to say so preparation is one key element and i'm sure uh, speech after manoj you're doing that over to you the stage is yours thank you uh, general evaluator agrami and thank you my fellow uh, colleagues and uh, speech crafters and uh, our toastmasters okay so my job is to count r you know one thing the word r can be used in many emotions if you are afraid r and if you are uh, like surprised r then uh, it goes on like that okay so be it uh, in pain also you can use the word r r so be it pain surprise or emotion whatever it is if it is coming from your mouth i'm going to count it so that is my role for the today today and over to you abrabi thank you uh, speech crafter manoj from being the r counter we started seeing uh, voice modulation uh, session piece that's uh, good that's a good start so now the last uh, person for this tag team is the grammarian now the grammarian for today is our uh, presiding officer distinguished toast master ratish so he is someone who always you know goes with this flow he is all very jolly jolly and uh, he loves questioning things and giving a new perspective to whatever we do that's one thing that i really like about uh, toast master uh, ratish i was just about to say speech crafter ratish so better beware over to you stage is yours thank you general evaluator thank you so much and two hats were given to me today two different hats all together a different view today as the grammarian of the day my job is to keep track of the incorrect as well as interesting usage of the english language to connect with the theme of the meeting we have a word of the day the word of the day is transcend meaning to go further than the usual limits of something usage the conclusion that reasons in transcend transcending experience can show no more than necessity i encourage all of you to use it as much as possible we will show a thumbs up to the speaker who uses the word of the day as a sign of encouragement i also want to go beyond in this role speakers who are not using word of the day would be asked to take grammarian role for the, for next week so please use word of the day i'll present my report to the general evaluator when called upon thank you and back to you thank you grammarian distinguished toast master ratish he just transcended his grammarian role and became a sales person to sell the grammarian role i just like that cool so now the tag team has given their introduction of what they will be doing let me also tell you what i'll do i'll also not just introduce my team but i will also make a note of what is happening in this meeting i'll look at whether the meeting started on time how we went to the next roles and all that and i'll also give a small report towards the end of the meeting so with this let me close the uh, general evaluator and team's introduction and hand over back to our madam toastmaster toastmaster geeta over to you ma'am Thank you so much, Toastmaster Abirami, for this wonderful, uh, wonderfully de depicting your objectives as a general evaluator. Yes, friends, I had put forward a question to you all: Like, are we doing justice by just pay, playing two or three roles in our life? When we know that, when we take a larger picture, we are responsible to a large eco ecosystem of our family, our friends, our animal kingdom, and our environment. So, are we really doing justice? i'm sure you all will come out with the answer that it is no so what are the things can we do so that we can play a few roles extra and try to do justice to whatever we are doing so probably the first thing is somebody willing to come up with what do you think we can do okay i will take it from here <laughs> yes so pro, uh, yes of course donating money for a charitable cause is one of the best options that we all can think about it but then is it only important to donate money for instance there are so many other things we can do in, uh, 
we cannot restrict ourselves by just donating money for a good cause. We can still go beyond and do various other things where we can make ourselves useful for others. So think about it. Maybe in the next session, you will tell me what exactly we can do to do justice to whatever we are doing by giving back to our society. Right now, I'll walk you through the prepared speech session. As you all are, all are aware, it is going to be an ice-breaking session. So uh, I will just invite one evaluator who will read out the objectives because everybody is giving us prepared speeches. Our first speaker is going to be to, uh, speech crafter Ranjit. To evaluate his speech, we have Toastmaster Vignesh. So I will uh, request Toastmaster Vignesh to read out the speech objectives. Yes, Toastmaster, please up. Um, Toastmaster, sorry, speech crafter Ranjit is going to deliver uh, icebreaker speech. The purpose of the speech is the new member is to introduce himself to the club and begin speaking before an audience. The speech should have a clear beginning, body, and ending. Uh, yes, uh, it's more about himself. Yeah, thanks, sir. Uh, back to you, TMOD. Thank, thank you, Toastmaster Vignesh, for making it very simple. And uh, yes, so here I invite Toastmaster uh, speechcrafter Ranji. I don't think I will have to introduce him today because he's giving his icebreakers and he's going to do his part of introducing himself today. So with these few words, I invite Toastmaster. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so used to saying Toastmaster again and again that it's taking time for me to speech crafter Ranjit about myself. About myself, speech crafter Ranjit. Good morning, Dal. Uh, question to you all, if you are Say, Alba, which place you remember? Of course, the, if I say uh, Laddu, if I say Macron, I did uh, it. I think. Yes, Tutukuri is famous for Macron. I am Ranjit, uh, born in Nadevekuchi, which is a small village in Tutukuri. I did my schooling in Nadevekuchi and moved to Chennai where I completed my graduation B.Sc. Max. During my school days, I was a Kabaddi player, represented my school to the next level in Kabaddi competition. In addition, I was also naughty as much as you were. I was once caught by uh, my school principal while copying the uh, answers from the bit paper. It was during my eighth class examination. Then they made me to put the needle on for 30 minutes in school ground and was asked to tell the reason why my classmates were around, which made me ashamed. I was an average student in school and college. While studying, I was working as a part-time employee in a daily shop to pay my educational fees. It, it is always fun doing work while studying. Uh, Careers. After my graduation, I, I struggled to get a job and finally got an offer in STFC Bank I, where I was working as an office in STFC card operation. And with the help of banking domain knowledge, I have entered into IT industry, got an offer in Cap Germany, worked as a test engineer, and finally. In July 2015, I joined CNSA as a senior quality engineer. About my family, my father was a tailor. Due to health issue, he stopped working for the past 15 years. My mother is a homemaker. I have a younger sister who is married and settled in Taney. I am happily married to Fonsi, my wife, who is also a homemaker and has a three years old son, our Jonas Park. I'm living with my family at Palmore in Chennai. Hobbies, I like to spend my time with my family and friends. My ambition is, uh, I want to keep my family happy all the time. I would love to offer uh, good quality, quality uh, would love to offer quality education to my son to pursue his business. My overall ambition is be content with what I have. That's it about me. Uh, 
eat two tikadi macaron and stay healthy thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity for to introduce myself back to you those master thank you so much speech crafter ranjit for this wonderfully introducing yourself to the club that was really wonderful especially i love that part where you said that you believe in imparting um, right education to your children that was really wonderful thank you so much once again friends it's now time for us to move to the second speaker our second speaker for today's for today is speech crafter sendil kumar as you all know speech crafter sendil kumar is also delivering his ice breakers so i'll straight away move to him speech crafter sendil kumar my life travel salem to chennai my life tra travel salem to chennai speech crafter sendil kumar okay um thank you kemodi go by model go by yes you are audible and visible okay so, so A good morning, Toastmaster and speech captain. Okay, today my topic is uh, my travel, life travel, Salem to Chennai. Yes, if you know about me, I would request you to travel with me, uh, not physically, but imagination, with imagination. So, uh, with a start travel and a, with a start story. So, Atu is a small village in Salem, uh, where I have born in 1982. third after and my father is mr bodiwe who is a retired uh, assistant from the nab and currently he is enjoying his retired life with me as a joint family and my mother is ms ravati bodiwe and she is still in job and taking care of the entire family and when it comes to my schooling i have completed my higher secondary in salem in uh, panjai union school uh, which is situated in amma college Salem district. So after my schooling, I couldn't able to join the college due to my low ranking in my higher secondary, as well as uh, my family situation is not in the position to uh, put me in a financial college. So I was decided to join in a job. Parallelly, I did my bachelor's and master's in computer applications through the first class, and uh, initially I was thought like. Uh, we could able to join the college because I am I am not that much good. Like I am average, pass category. My school friends and everybody has joined the college. That those days was very pain because all my college, all my school friends went to the college and I couldn't able to uh, went to the college. When we get together, they express their fun feeling college days and it was those painful days for me. Like uh, I was missing the college. Even then, I was proud. Like uh, due to my family situation, I kept that moment. Uh, to take care of my family and i am little lagged of my schooling because i have little more experience than my school uh, guys and i can i taken care of my family and i am i am little proud of that part so days goes on as like every uh, downs of tamil nadu youngsters ambitions like to reach or to uh, settle the family in a it city called chennai or bangalore multiple try i also got job in chennai there is my first job which is uh, a company called asso solution which is which was situated in the tidal park and my second job is cnsa so both company i have traveled more than 7 8 years i made a trust to the company so from that i am proud of it when come to my marriage so when i feel like i get a decent salary on 2011 so i fulfill my mom's wish to get into marriage and i have a very lovable wife uh, uh <coughs> shivaranjini and she is a uh, teacher and i have a daughter uh, she is a 3 years old so that's about my part before concluding that i want to say like uh, three beliefs in my life one is whatever happens the life has to go and uh, be good do good thing good if you do that your surrounding will all, always be good and change is the only non changeable non changeable thing in the life so you should adopt it this three beliefs which i get from my mom she used to do it when i am uh, in the down when i scored low marks and when i when i feel very bad 
choose to say these three things. I have to take those as a belief. And whenever I don't, I retrospect myself and think through these three words, I will get a solution and will go on. So that's about me. Thank you for that opportunity and be happy. Thank you so much, speech crafter Sendil Kumar. That was really wonderful to know about the three principles that you uh, learned from your mom. That was really nice of you to share with us. Thank you so much. I think we had made a wonderful start with those uh, speech crafter Ranjit, who has started energetically. So the flow is moving on and on. I, I just want you all to keep the energy levels high as we move on to our next speaker. Our next speech crafter, speaker is Speechcraft Saranan. And to evaluate his speech, we have Toastmaster Shrikant, who is also a senior Toastmaster from our club. And before I hand over the control to Toastmaster Saranan, let me read out his speech title, Love to Travel. So Speech Crafter Saranan, Love to Travel. Love to Travel, Speech Crafter Saranan. Oh, sorry, Kita ma'am. I think Pasharavanan is not joined with me. He's not there. Okay. Okay. I think we should move on to our next speaker. So our next speaker is Speechcrafter Deepak. And Toastmaster Vignesh will be evaluating his speech. Toast Speechcrafter Deepak. I followed my heart. I followed my heart, speechcrafter Deepak. Good morning, uh, dear speechcrafters and Toastmasters. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. I am Deepak Arokiraj from uh, the prize Deepak, board. Of... We are not able to hear you clearly. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll start ah. again. Yeah. Is, is it better, Gita? No? Yes, yes. Okay. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. I am Deepak Arokiraj, a native of uh, the rice bowl of Tamil Nadu, Tanjavur. I am an 80s kid, actually. And I, I did my schooling from uh, St. Don Bosco High Secondary School, which I am sure you would have seen at least once in your life. Uh, strange is it? Yeah, it is where the movie 96 was shot. And uh, as an 80s kid, it was a routine to do engineering once we complete 12th, is it? And I did the same from uh, Sastra University in the year 1998 till 2002. I actually had a passion of becoming a teacher or a lecturer since it was in my blood. Uh, my grandfather was a uh, Nallasriya awardee from the then CM uh, Bhaktavachalam. But my path changed. Uh, I got selected in Naval Lignite Corporation as a graduate apprentice trainee in the year 2003. I had a great opportunity in learning about machinery, maintenance, uh, reconditioning of machines, enormous knowledge uh, from there. On completing the course there, I, I tried to clear public sector exams, but all went in vain. I couldn't clear any. And again, I recall my passion of why not become a teacher by doing the master's, a lecturer. So I did my master's from Aragapachatiyar Karekudi in manufacturing engineering. But again, fate played and I got selected in one of the MNCs. Uh, and it's 15 years now in the industry and three happy years in CNSI now. To, I have had a variety of experiences in my past uh, in being, uh, being in various places, starting from a native and then in Neveli, and then to Karekudi. I have been in Hosur searching for various, various uh, searching for jobs as well. I believe that it has helped me to mold myself into a strong person. And on my family, uh, I have two wonderful kids and one wife. And uh, my parents are uh, retired government servants. They are leading a happy, peaceful, retired life in my native. To conclude, I would say uh, being and being with being in different places, working in different companies and working with different people, different culture 
will teach you a lot, will help uh, mold your life. So be transcend and don't be confined. Thank you. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Speechcrafter Deepak, for such a wonderful message. Transcend yourself, elevate yourself, and get ahead in life. That was a beautiful message. Thank you so much once again. It's now time for us to move to our next speaker. Keeping the energy levels high, I invite to our speech crafter Suresh. Largest French colony in India. Largest French colony in India, speech crafter Suresh. Ma'am, could you also indicate the evaluator, ma'am? Yes, yes. I, okay. Okay, fine. I was supposed to call speech crafter Charles. Shall I go ahead? Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Please, let's follow that. Yeah. So, I'm sorry for this thing. So, our next speaker is going to be speech crafter Charles. Broken Arrow, speech crafter Charles. And his evaluator is our senior Toastmaster, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharti. Over to Good you, morning, Charles. All. Thank you. Good morning, all. Nice to meet you today. I am Charles Anthony Sami having a master degree in computer science. Um, start with a good saying, relationship will shine by shaking hands in best moments, uh, but they blossoms by holding hands in critical moment. That's my family and friends. I have wonderful two kids. Uh, my elder one is daughter, she is 11 years old, and the younger is son boy, uh, who is six years old. My wife is, uh, wife name is uh, Ruby. She's working in Lady IT uh, company. She's a gold medalist, university gold medalist. My mom, uh, she received a best teacher award for Pondicherry uh, State. My, my childhood was completely under uh, military rule. My dad is a retired headmaster uh, and master in managing a family. He forced us by God uh, all the Tamil poems during our annual leave itself. Um, one good uh, experience with him, I want to share it with our friends. Um, my uh, first love uh, with my junior, um, there was a discussion um, we used to have uh, every day at 3, 3 p.m. So usually uh, you, you, sh you, sh you should be in the school, uh, you won't, you'll come only in the evening somewhere around 5 p.m. On the day uh, he came earlier, uh, she called. She called me at five, uh, three p.m. exactly. Uh, he picked up the call, and uh, he asked, "Okay, who are you? What's your name? Which degree you are studying? All the information he collected." Uh, then uh, he asked, "What's the reason you call? You call him?" She said, "Chuma, uncle. I call uh, just to talk, Chuma. He's a master in family and a headmaster, right?" He realized the situation and said, um, I am a 50, 52 year old uh, man and I'm taking a more effort to, to pick up your call. Next time when you call him, please make sure you have some reason. That's it. I didn't get the call again. I didn't get a chance to meet her again. Then later I heard she was an ex-student of my father. Then that's it. My, that's where uh, the things were, you know, get over. Um, even though I, I was very good in, uh, I was a, a cricket captain in my college uh, and very good in galvanizing the team to you know, achieve the common goal. Uh, one another thing is uh, my friend Harry, who helped me to uh, you know, save, uh, who helped me to choose the IT professional rather than teaching professional. Thank you all. Thank you so much for this wonderful icebreaker speech crafter, Charles. That was really wonderful to listen to you. It just got me into thinking that today I, we are listening to only icebreakers, but everybody's speech is so unique and different that we are really enjoying listening to you all. So keep up the spirits. We'll now move on to the next speaker. Our next speaker is speech crafter, Suresh. And to evaluate his speech, we have Toastmaster Shrikant, who is also our senior Toastmaster from our CTM club. So, speech crafter Suresh, largest French colony in India, largest French colony in India, speech crafter Suresh. 
Suresh. I think Suresh had some personal emergency. Thank you, Abhilash. Okay, then I think we should move on to our next speaker. So our next speaker is again speech crafter Bharti Dasan. And Toastmaster Abhilash will be evaluating his speech. Speech crafter Bharti Dasan, my icebreakers. My icebreakers, speech crafter Bharti Dasan. Ma'am, I think it's Barani Dharan, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so I'm so sorry. It's Barani Dharan. Speechcrafter Barani Dharan, my icebreakers. My icebreakers, speech crafter Barani Dharan. Yeah. Good morning, speech crafters and postmasters. Postmasters. My icebreaker speech is my life journey. It was a rainy evening with thunder and lightning. There were riots in the streets across the town. There was a woman shouting at the hospital. Few moments later, a star was born. Don't imagine too much. All these were imagination as we see in the movies. Nothing like that happened to me. I was born in a government hospital in Pondicherry, like any other child in a normal environment. After a year, we moved to Kadalur, which is 23 kilometers away from Pondicherry. I did my schooling in Kadalur in a co-education school till third standard. When I entered the class, there were around 40 people, out of which 30 are girls. It was a nightmare for me, as I was a shy person. Then from fourth standard, I switched over to another co-education school. And one happy thing happened there is, in that class, there were only two girls. I was really happy. I completed uh, the till 12th standard in the same school. I secured 80 percentage marks in 12th standard. My father wanted me to join engineering. But unfortunately, I did not get free seat. My father was unable to afford payment seat at that moment. My father was really agonized. I understood my father's financial situation. I decided to join BSc Computer Science. I completed BSc Computer Science in Kadalur and decided to go for a job. But due to my parents' insistence, I joined post-graduation, MSc Computer Science. Those two years were my happiest moments in, the, in my life because I bunked the classes and went for movies, tour, and other things, etc. I pursued post-graduation with 70% aggregate. In my, in my family, all thought that I will go for a job in the next two or three months. But unfortunately, I was roaming in the streets for the next eight months with my friends, going to temple, beaches, and cinemas. One day I asked my father, why oh, you are not asking me anything? My father replied, you will come to know one day, only when you have a job, people will respect you. On hearing his words, I realized that I wasted eight months. Then I searched for a job. I failed in four or five, interview, five interviews. I, I went ahead one step ahead and looked on YouTube on how to attend the interviews. And I attended the interviews and I got a job in the sixth interview. For my career growth, I switched to two or three companies before joining CNSA in the year 2015. In the meantime, I got married at the age of 28. I have a daughter who is studying seventh standard now. My aspiration is to start a business and to become a good businessman. One thing I have to tell you all is that always take risk in life so that you can achieve your goals. Never fail to take risk. I would like to thank you all for patiently listening to my speech. Thank you all. Thank you so much for this wonderful introductory speech. In fact, we all have a wonderful message from you that we should always be ready to take up the risks. Without taking risks, nothing can happen in life. So if we need to transcend to a better position, we need to take this. That was really wonderful on your part. I'll now move on to our next speaker. Our next speaker is speech crafter Sumita. And she will be evaluated by Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. So here I invite you Toastmaster. Uh, uh, Sumita, I think she's not in. She said she'll be a little delayed today. So we can move on to the uh, next uh, speaker now. Okay, our next speaker is again speech crafter Venkatesh. He will be evaluated by Toastmaster Abhilash. So with these few words, I invite you speech crafter Venkatesh for your, to deliver your icebreakers. Uh, yeah. Hi, all. Good morning. Uh, thanks for this give, giving the opportunities. I am, uh, today I will speak about, talk about me. Uh, 
so i am venkatesh jalla rajendran i am my full name is that i was born and brought up in uh, in kumbakonam this name is that city is a temple city of tamil nadu uh, from tanjore district uh, my father is weaving in silk sarees my mother is a housewife so i uh, my sister is got married and settled in kumbakonam itself so i spend my time uh, my time with the family and friends and playing games this is my hobbies of that i completed my studies schooling and degrees uh, everything in kumbakonam itself i completed my degree in government college of arts in kumbakonam i did com- uh, i completed it bsc physics um, during my uh, studies i had a uh, part time job of manufacturing and silk uh, sales for the uh, silk sarees which is we uh, having in my own business uh, later i after completion my degree i have uh, went to the job for the marketing field in the medical representative uh, after that i got uh, opportunity from the it industry from the tcs i joined tcs in 2007 uh i moved to uh, another companies accenture or tech mahindra all other companies and finally i reached here in cnsi since march 2019 onwards so i got married in 2012 uh, my wife is a house homemaker she's name is uma devi uh, i have here two kids one, uh, one first is uh, my daughter 9 9 years old and second is my son uh, he is in 4 3 years old now so my daughter is studying in 4th uh, standard in gn mathematics class in school in madam bakkam um uh, apart from i am my ambition is a high, as a father have two lovely kids children i believe it i want to give the good education to them and should be they have a, a, they have improved their self confidence if me they have faced any challenges or any kind of situations they have to face the own level so that is my ambition for that um, apart from that i am happy to part of this speech prat program and com- communication skill to improve that areas thanks thank you so much speech crafter venkatesh glad to know that you are enjoying the speech crafter program and you are looking forward to improve yourself that was really wonderful ice breaker friends it's now time for us to move to our next to listen to our next speech crafters introductory speech so our next speaker is going to be speech crafter sudha raju and to evaluate his speech we have our senior toastmaster toastmaster lakshmi narayana so with these few words i invite you speech crafter sundar raju to deliver your ice breakers yeah thank you hi good morning hi good morning all uh thanks for giving this opportunity to introduce myself uh myself sundar raju uh, i hail from dalwaipatti village in salem my father was a ex service man uh, my mother is home maker so i am the youngest son in my family i married and settled in chennai so my wife is uh, home maker uh, and i have one son who is studying in fifth standard so in my family i am the first graduate uh graduate so my two brothers are doing farming they are uh, living in my native so after uh, my schooling i i wanted to do higher education so due to my family situations they did not send me to college so however uh, i uh, overcome that and convinced and uh, joined in uh, polytechnic college and uh, completed in diploma in computer technology Uh, after that i started my career in as a faculty in computer center uh, with my earnings i joined in igno and uh, completed bca and mca after i completed mca uh, i joined i joined in bpo company in bangalore uh, i so however uh, i worked uh, only for 6 months then at the time i realized i am moving away from the technology side by the time my friend sendil uh, called me and told there is a opening in uh, technology department in fosos uh, after uh, spending around 6 years i decided to move on uh, better opportunity i joined in another company uh, everything was going good uh, suddenly uh, all of the suddenly it happened all of 
the layoff um, the company was uh, announced in the layoff so all the employees who are joined within last one year uh, was asked to leave the company so that phase uh, was really uh, challenging so because i am married and having kid uh, i was um, uh, i was struggled at that time so i am searching uh, total income was got stopped so i was searching new job uh, there is no opportunity fit man um, which will not fit my experience so i struggled uh, around 7 uh, months so in all the moments uh, important moments um, um, stood my uh, one of person stood myself and friend uh, his hand on my time of need and uh, he is none other than sendil he is also present in the meeting so i too uh, i uh, i truly realize one sentence uh, in my life your friend in need is your friend in need Yeah, yeah, thank you. So that was a real, wonderful message. A friend in need is a friend indeed, and your it's a happy moment for you that your friend is listening to your speech today. So that was really wonderful icebreaker. Thank you so much for this wonderful icebreaker. And it's now time for us now to listen to our next speaker, who is speech crafter Vignesh. So again, it is Toastmaster Abhilash who will be evaluating our speech crafter Vignesh. With these few words, I invite you, speech crafter Vignesh, to deliver your icebreakers. Over to you. Oh, uh, thank you, Toastmaster Geeta, for your warm introduction. Life is not like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must be keep moving. It's a quote from Albert Einstein. Myself, Vignesh. born and brought up in chennai in a very normal family my father is a government employee and my mother is a homemaker so being the only child i got all the love and affection from my family members childhood is said to be the best part of the life because it's a time where there's no burden or responsibility you live your life with your own fun and you don't worry about anything i think there is no pain in the childhood so completed my schooling and entered into the college with lot of dreams and it came and it's a dream come to moment when i got my degree certificate in engineering life was not easy as it was before to get a desired job after a long struggle and handful of failures and got transited with what i wanted then comes the next important stage that's the marriage wise intelligent and open minded most people have these qualities enlisted in their minds of their dreams wife but i think an idle wife should exactly not be the same as us but it should be as an good atmosphere of understanding between the couples as a life partner she should not be the same neither you should not be an opponent beauty for me is not only the outer beauty because sooner or later it will get abolished but the inner beauty is comes from the kindnesses i cherish this as a dream come to moment when i met my wife i enjoy all my moments with my daughter who is doing her first standard in her schoolings now success and failures are closely associated with one's achievement one who achieves anything today hasn't lost anything yesterday so there is no complete successful man without the mixture of success and failures that is to say i failed a dozen of times but every time it made me stronger ever so be transited positive and help others thank you thank you so much for this wonderful introduction and the wonderful message also thank you once again we'll now move on to our next speaker who is speech crafter vimal and toastmaster lakshmi narayana will be evaluating his speech 
So here I welcome you, Speechcrafter Vimal. Let's hear from you. Ma'am, I think Vimal is not here. Could you please confirm? Vimal, are you here? Uh, I think, uh, no, we can move on to Sumita then. Ma'am, yeah. she's there. Okay, so it's now time for us to listen from Speechcrafter Sumita. <laughs> And Toastmaster, hi. yes, hi. Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana will be evaluating her speech. Yes, over to you, Sumita. Let's hear from you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for the opportunity given. So this is Sumita. And uh, <clears throat> I come from a upper middle class family. My father was a government employee. He was working in Elkhart as a general manager. My mom is a housewife. And I have an elder sister who is a doctor and an elder brother <clears throat> who uh, is currently working. And uh, I had a lot of dreams when, uh, when I was, uh, when I completed my schooling, because I did my schooling in uh, women's school and uh, girls' school. And when I thought of uh, joining college, my father had decided to put me in again in girls' college because his friend's daughter was studying there. So all my dreams about uh, colorful college life, etc., was shattered. But still, I had a good uh, set of friends in college, and I completed uh, my engineering. And then I have uh, <clears throat> I started looking for a job. So in my college, the only uh, company that came for campus was HCL. And um, when they interviewed me, everyone was thinking that uh, I will uh, crack the interview, including my HOD and everyone. But uh, when they asked the final question in the interview, that uh, what's your goal or what's your uh, plan, I suddenly said that I'm planning to work for a year and then I will take a business. Till today, I don't know why I told that because <clears throat> after that, for 20 years now, I am still working. But somehow something came into my mind and told and I guess they got afraid and they didn't choose me. Then uh, life became a hell uh, searching for jobs. So every day uh, we and my, me and my friends will go and we look out for jobs and uh, give resume to different companies. And finally ended up uh, in a company in Chennai. So till then, <clears throat> I don't want to stay idle. So I asked my dad to refer someone and then I went to Coimbatore, did some work and then I came back. So this company, I was working for four months and they did a layoff. And again, uh, we came to back to square one. Then again, I did Java certification and waited for some job and got into another company. <clears throat> and uh, from there, I uh, surveyed for some time. And uh, there was a lot of, <clears throat> what do you say, uh, politics and other stuff. So due to which uh, I had to move from that company and finally ended up uh, we are in CNSI and CNSI has been a very great company and this uh, <clears throat> Toastmaster course that they had arranged uh, is uh, really helping me out in many uh, ways. So I really take this opportunity <clears throat> to say that uh, whatever, whenever life put you down, don't uh, feel that uh, you won't get any other opportunity. Keep trying and you'll definitely succeed. Thank you for the opportunity given. Thank you so much, Speechcrafter Sumita, for this wonderful message of being resilient and things will turn the way you want when you're resilient. That was really wonderful on you. Thank you so much once again. Friends, with this, we come to the end of our speaking session. I'm sure you all must have enjoyed the icebreakers. So it's time for us to move to the next session. As you all know, our, the next session is table topic session. But before that, I will come back to the same discussion that we had a little bit earlier. So I was just asking you that it is not sufficient that we restrict our roles and restrain ourselves to our people around us. It is also important for us to give back to society. We also discussed that donating money for a good cause is definitely one of the greatest choices that we can make. But what are the other things we can do apart from donating money? So this time, now that you're all relieved after giving your speech breakers, I'm sure you'll come up with more answers now. In the earlier instance, I felt that you were not being interactive. Probably you were trying to rehearse your speeches and all of that. So now I want you to come up with 
a few points that what can we do to give back to our society? So actually, uh, I'm just thinking that whatever we learned, we should uh, think of giving back to society. So I have a, a YouTube channel and I teach uh, Selenium and uh, the Java training and all that. So it's a small bit for me to give back to society. I take that in both Tamil as well as my native language as well as in English. So because I feel really that <laughs> people sometimes struggle a little bit when they are suddenly coming from college. Uh, and uh, I felt that it will be helpful for them. So, so that's really wonderful on your part. That's really, really wonderful on your part. Speech crafters, this was one among you who believes that imparting skill also is one way where you can give back to your society. society. Right. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Can, can we have one more point from somebody else before we act, I actually hand over the session to our table topic master? Yes. Is somebody passionate about pets? So this one point I will give you, I'm very passionate when it comes to the pets. Today we have so many stray animals on the roads. Probably we all could take one step forward and do something for them. Probably we can adopt them. If not, we can at least ensure that they get three times food or do something, take care of them when they are sick or sick just a leap forward to do something for the animal kingdom, probably this one step, which I would love to do. And that's what exactly I'm doing right now. Yes, so it's now time for me to hand over the session to our table topic master. So before that, let me tell you all a few words about him. Our table topic master is Toastmaster Shiv Kumar, who is very passionate about improving his communication and leadership skills. He is a professor and, and consultant in IT Department of University of Technology and Applied Sciences, Oman. So he's joining us from Oman and he has an experience of 20 years. I'm sure he's going to take you through wonderful topics and I'm sure you're going to enjoy all the topics. With these few words, I invite you to Master Shiv Kumar to take over. Thank you. Toastmaster Geetha ma'am uh, for that warm introduction and the kind words. Uh, very good morning speech crafters, fellow Toastmasters and uh, my dear guest. Actually table topic session is one of the most exciting portions. Uh, not only in my opinion, most of the people who have uh, been in the club said the same. And I would like to tell you the objective of this session, basically. It is to develop your impromptu communication skills, to effectively think on your feet. And indeed, it will help you to transcend to a new level where you can see yourself performing without practice. So performing without practice is what is the key. We also want to give every member the opportunity to speak at each meeting. We do this. Uh, we achieve this by this table topic session. And basically this is designed to develop four essential skills in communication. One is listening. You listen to the topic and then quickly think about it. And then you organize it to present. And then you, uh, you, know, you present in a way that people really understand the speaking skills. And today as a table topic master, I will be asking you questions. Rather, I will be giving you some guidelines, topic, I mean, headings. You, I mean, based on that, you can just start your presentations. So your response must be at least for a minute. One full minute, I would uh, want to hear from all of you. And then you can take a maximum of two minutes. You will see a green signal after one minute that is at your minimum time, and a yellow signal at one minute, 30 seconds, and a red at the second minute. And also, I would like to remind you and encourage you to use the word of the day. Today's word of the day is transcend. Shall we get started? To begin with, I would like one of our Toastmasters to volunteer. Can somebody 
uh, volunteer, please. Or can I call? I'll go. Ah, the last. Thank you, Abhilash. Thank you so much. Uh, that's going to be a wonderful beginning. Good beginning is half done already. Well, let me share the screen so that. Uh, yeah, I hope you see the screen, Abhilash. So do you agree with the saying? The more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. Toastmaster Abhilash, the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Shivakumar. I think I can condense this saying into a very different saying, which all of us know very well. Practice makes a man perfect. That is perhaps what this saying is trying to convey here, you know. Sometimes all we see is the outside thing where when a person accomplishes such big fame or anything, be it, you know, we tend to praise that person. And sometimes, you know, I hear this particular word, oh, well, he got lucky. But I will always disagree there. You know only the outside 1% of work that he has done. You never know what are the hard work that he has put in behind the scenes to ensure that you know you reach to that position in life today. Let me tell you, see, what when we notice a person only when he you know shoots up to fame or something, we what we refuse to do is we refuse to analyze how he has worked his way up. You know, the loads of hard work that he's put in behind the scenes is what is going to ensure that he takes his place at the top. I have come across this beautiful saying, yes, you know, a CEO did get lucky when his startup you know, have made around 500 crores, but he did not get lucky before he started putting in 90 hours a week. That is the key to success. You know, when you go outside to that particular moment, you should be prepared. That particular moment is war when the entire world will be watching you expectantly and, you know, they'll be waiting to ridicule you if you fail. But how are you going to prepare yourself for that moment? All the years of hard work behind the scenes will ensure that you go there and you succeed. So I definitely and I most perfectly agree with this particular saying, Toastmaster Shivakumar, the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. After all, practice is what makes a man perfect. I'm sure you will also agree with that. Back to you, sir. Wow. Thank you so much, Abila. That is a wonderful, uh, I mean, the way you presented it. And I agree with you completely. Thank you. And can I call our Toastmaster Logesh? Mr. Logesh is there. Can I call Guru? Guru Kartik. Ah, Guru ah, Sh yes, Shiva. So you are referring a Toastmaster. We are speech crafters. Sorry. Ah, That's speech why crafter. Lokesh would have uh, not respond. Okay. So forgive <laughs> me for that. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, thank you. Uh, how is the day? Good, right? Yeah, Fine. good. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to give you the second topic. The second topic is on the screen now. Do you see the topic, please? Yeah, yes, uh, Shokuma. So what do you think is the most important quality to be successful in your job? So uh, speech crafter guru, the most important quality to be successful in your job. Please, over to you. Thank you, Shokuma. So before I start, uh, thank you. Uh, Shukmar and good morning speech crafters and Toastmasters. So to this, I would say the self-satisfaction is the most important quality, I would say. So whatever the job I take, I do, I need to be satisfied that I have given my 100% on this job. That makes me a uh, complete uh, successful person in my career. So that is uh, one uh, thing I observe as a quality or we can define in any way uh, because when we were not uh, happy with the way what we do then it is very difficult for us to make others believe that our work has a good quality so by 
saying that i also uh, give others to uh, assess in that way i would say uh, shukuma so before uh, closing my speech uh, to uh, the grammarian ratish i think i was not able to use the word uh, transcend so by saying that i quoted the word thank you <laughs> thank you uh, speech crafter guru that is indeed a great takeaway the self satisfaction i think it doesn't just improve the quality of your work in the quality of life too thank you for that value added and i appreciate the way you used the word of the day transcend thank you well can i call uh, kartik speech crafter kartik speech crafter kartik is uh, there or not i don't know yes yes sir kumar wow kartik yeah. kartik yeah. very uh, happy to see you in the meeting and my topic to you it is on the uh, screen there is a saying that you are as good as your last performance which speaks about consistency in performance so the topic to you kartik how to be a consistent achiever kartik how to be a consistent achiever over to you kartik yeah thanks to everyone uh, all the speech mark Uh, speech captain and those matter uh, first of all i thank you everyone for the, giving this opportunity to me uh, uh, so uh, whatever we are uh, doing in uh, in our everyday life right so uh, we should be the we we will try to uh, give some best 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 to everyone every day so uh we need to uh, provide some improvement uh, in every day we need to uh, do uh, provide some improvement uh, in our uh, uh, job actually uh, whatever job we are doing uh, so we, we should be the best uh, so uh, this this is the one that we, we we should be in our uh, mind every, every time so uh, so uh, we uh, so actually uh, uh, when i st- uh, studying uh, my pg so uh, um, i i i am facing some trouble in the uh, uh, understand the uh, the concept of the some uh, the programming languages so uh, but uh, my friend one of my friend is uh, helped me a lot and uh, uh, he told he told one thing uh, so uh, uh, if you uh, if you understand or not, if you didn't understand so whatever you can take the note so then later you can uh, verify that note and you definitely you will get some uh, idea about the, about that so uh, you, uh, so uh, if you definitely you will get the some improvement uh, on this so so it, it should be you should be the uh, top of that, uh, that uh, always uh, so uh, whatever you you did you should be the you, you can uh, do it uh, best in your job so this it uh, uh, so far from me so i i i couldn't uh, provide the great uh, good speech to he- here so suddenly so uh, thanks thanks uh, sukma ah mr kartik yeah speech crafter kartik uh, that was a wonderful uh, attempt i really happy that you used the opportunity to express your gratitude to your friend who helped you during your post graduation i mean you have done a really good job congratulations we like to your speech thank you. thank you so much keep going and in the end the table topic session is to put you on that spot and then you know bringing out the best in you you have done your part very well and you have brought the best thank you and can i call next our toastmaster uh, nagendra bharati sir can i call you Uh, sorry yes. toastmaster uh, shivakumar your sharing is lost because i am sharing the flags oh really okay i will yes. share again can yeah. i share again yeah yes yes so, yeah well you should be seeing my screen i guess 
could you all please see my screen can you see the screen yeah. yes yes we can see that great so i would like to call next our toastmaster nagendra bharti yes uh, ah great sir my topic to you it is here on the screen there is a saying that failing to plan is planning to fail tell me how important is planning nagendra bharti sir tell me how important is planning to you over to pt master shivakumar failing to plan is planning to fail how important is planning even in this sentence you can see that failing to plan is planning to fail even for failing you have to plan even for failing if you have to plan then definitely for success you have to plan very well right if you take the project management course you have these processes like planning execution improvement and then learning lessons it's not only for projects even in our personal life not only in our professional life even in our personal life we have to plan accordingly then only we can execute the plan properly and succeed in whatever venture we are getting into but this planning somehow it gets into our mind automatically we don't know that we are planning but we are automatically doing so many things in a planned way take for example after getting up what we are doing we are going to bathroom take bath all these things then breakfast then lunch these things are going in a planned way this we have not planned this has got into your mind as a plan in the same way in our professional life also we have to plan make the planning as a part of our mind if we get this planning embedded into our mind it will automatically happen if you are not planning to do something definitely we will fail in that even in our school studies you take our life from our uh, childhood to adulthood in our childhood days what did we do we went to school we studied but some of us we waited till the study leave to study and then we failed but many of us we studied from the beginning we planned to study from the beginning and then we succeeded in the same way not only in personal life not only in professional life whatever we do from our childhood to adulthood we need to have plan if we have plan definitely we will be succeeding even for failing if you have to plan then why not for success thank you over to you titi master uh, those master nagendra bade no wonder i know that you will uh, definitely make it as a big hit uh, excellent uh, speech uh, sir and uh, i really liked the point that you said no the human brain naturally constructs the sequence of activities in a plan planned way and embedding that in our daily life itself is a uh, in a regular thing that's a wonderful introspection thank you sir and can i call uh, mr shrikant mr shrikant is there good morning those must be shrikant very good morning sir how are you sir as always better than good <laughs> excellent uh, so with that note let me present you the topic mm -hmm. my topic is very simple to you i know you will handle this better than anybody else so the topic is it's a notion but not really <laughs> how do you that is your humility how, how do you handle failures those master shrikant how do you handle failures give us some tips over to you yeah. thank you very much well uh, this is a very intriguing notion that i have learned in my life and the one important person who has taught me about handling failure in my early part of my life is my mother because most of you know i had a very difficult time growing up as a son having lost my father and my mother she was pushed into taking care of her family and literally it was poverty written all over the place one square meal was very difficult but never she allowed 
that situation to overwhelm her, she always stood her ground and she never allowed anybody to have sympathy towards us, but empathy was welcome. She was a fighter. She did what she could. And she always went to bed, reminding us that tomorrow is going to be a better day. And every tomorrow in my life was better as she has promised me. And I also remember, I have a very vague remembrance. Once she had told me that it is not that you're failing. It is just that you are going through some hard times like a piece of diamond which needs to be chiseled, polished for it, for it to get its real value. So life is all about how you get chiseled and how you come out. And here I am, what I am today is because of my mother. All that I am and all that I hope to be, I owe it to my mother. So this is my way of taking failure. Rather, I would say it is a lesson that we need to understand, put it behind us and then move forward seeing that we don't make the mistake that we have done. And without all these mistakes, without all these failures, what others call, we couldn't become the person that we always wanted to be. So it is all in your mind. Seven key little words from the proverb. As you think, so shall you be. If you think life is a failure, you start expanding and manifesting that in your life. And if you think it's not failure, always you step forward and the day is going to be much better than what it was yesterday. Thank you very much. And this is my little spiel on how to handle failures. Thank you very much and back to you. Wow. That is not an uh, unprepared speech. I seriously have a doubt. You have uh, kind of got the clue from my next slide, I think. And thank you for that wonderful uh, speech. I could see a lot of inputs and then you opened your heart to say what worked really in your life. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do we have still time uh, uh, to continue? Uh, host, can uh, I? Let's close, uh, let's close, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate and congratulate all the speakers of today. Thank you. Over to you, uh, Toastmaster Gita. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Shivakumar, for this wonderful TT session. I'm sure even our speech crafters and the Toastmasters would have enjoyed this session. A very thought-provoking session indeed, I should say. Friends, it's now time for us to move on to our evaluation session. But before that, can we have a little more of input as to what else can we do to give back to our society? Yes, is anybody willing to come up with any point? I remember a story that uh, uh, someone told me. Even uh, to make a cup of tea, you need uh, uh, the tea that comes from you know a faraway place like hilly areas. It is normally grown in hilly areas. And then the sugar, which is from the sugar cane, that's not a ready-made product. It's a value-added one. So you've got to do all this stuff. And then you... That's exactly why we are responsible to our society. In a, if you look at the greater picture, that's exactly why we have to give yeah. back to the society because we are not what we are just because of our one, uh, our own efforts. Yeah, exactly. So efforts come into it. So I just want the inputs. Yeah. We can come up with saying like something like we can uh, give our time to somebody. So investing our time on somebody, for instance, like visiting a palliative care center or visiting our distant relatives all of a sudden will make them feel that they are also being loved. You know, there is somebody to look for after them or care for them. So that brings a sense of happiness in them. Probably gifting our value, our valuable time to others could be one option. Yes, I would want somebody to come up with another option. Anything else? Uh, Toastmaster Abhirami, I think she wanted to say something. Uh, okay. So if I think about giving back to the society, the first thing that uh, comes to my mind is the citizenship activity that we generally do at work, where we are all given the task to do something. And there we went to a college where uh, we had to uh, help the uh, students there prepare their uh, CV and give them mock interviews. That was a very good experience for me because it was the first time and I was very scared myself. And I realized how privileged that I am to have so many uh, things to do in my life in comparison to what they were. 
so sometimes giving back also makes you understand where you stand in your life thank you to master geeta yes that was really wonderful again but i was i i still want some inputs like what else can we do now that we even toastmaster shiv kumar or the toastmaster abhirami they have put forward that whatever we are today it's because of the society in in general because whatever we have whatever is happening to us it's a contribution that has come to us from all around the people 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 all around us so probably we can again think about one more option which is like as i said well, gifting your valuable time we can also Uh, ensure that we are very careful with the resources that we are using so if we are uh, resource management to be something like a uh, first step step we can take forward to protect our environment today everything is in a depleting state be it water or anything so if we were careful in that that will be one step then we can also think about plant planting trees to protect our environment there's one beautiful proverb which says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago the next best time is now probably we can still think about planting trees or something so that we can protect our environments so here we have covered the human life the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom so there are so many so many ways that we can come up with you know to give back to our society so with this i think i we should go uh, i should hand over to our general evaluator who will be conducting the evaluation sessions over to you to master abhirami thank you so much to master of the day to master geeta for all your that thoughtful uh, feedback on what we need to do now it's time for all our champions for uh, to get their breakfast dose of breakfast from the evaluators so now let's quickly jump into the evaluation session and see how we all performed today now to start with for the uh, first speaker who is speech crafter ranjit we have toastmaster vignesh evaluating his speech so to give a round of introduction to our uh, toastmaster vignesh he is a speech craft coordinator for uh, this uh, speech craft to tell about him i know him almost for a year now he when he joined toastmaster club he was all creative and excited to join in and that excitement continued all through his journey every speech he would come with a new concept and he would beautifully deliver it it would be absolutely new not a very generic one but still he he has the capability to break it down and deliver it on the platter and he's one very creative person uh, over to you the stage is yours uh, toastmaster vignesh timer please note the allotted time is 2 to 3 minutes here you go thanks thanks a lot toastmaster abhirami for a wonderful introduction and um, good morning fellow toastmasters and speech craft members and special good morning to my target speaker speech crafter ranjit speech crafter ranjit it was a wonderful speech so you have the icebreaker speech objective is to understand yourself so we thoroughly understand yourself so the special thing i noted was a very good opening so you have started with what is uh, famous for alwa laddu i was engaged with your everyone was i saw everyone's uh, reaction so everyone was engaged with your question so it was a very good audience connect so it requires for every speech so you you done that part so kudos to you for that part and uh, so i understand your life and your family father young sister wife and three years son and your hobbies everything i could uh, thoroughly understand it and uh, the purpose of the ice breaker you have achieved very well and uh, the goal on the conclusion part you have ended with the goal so you have to uh vignesh are you there okay i think uh, we just lost vignesh on the uh, audio piece so probably we will come back to that conclusion piece the way you concluded we'll come to that towards uh, maybe a couple of uh, minutes later once he's back uh, speech crafter ranjit so now let's uh, move on to the uh, see someone went to eat macaron it seems yeah that's the way it is 
So now, yeah, next, let's go to hearing uh, Sendhil's uh, speech for today. So this is going to be evaluated by uh, our uh, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati to say a few words about uh, Toastmaster Bar Nagendra Bharati. He's a veteran Toastmaster from Chennai Toastmasters Club. Uh, and he's a retired techno functional uh, speaker. The quick fact about him, he is not just a speaker, but also a writer and most of his uh, poems and all have been published and they are available in Amazon. So we're privileged to hear from a writer. Over to you, sir, to evaluate uh, speech crafter Sendil Kumar's speech. Thank you. General evaluator Toastmasters Abhiromi and Toastmasters and uh, speech crafters. You would all would have noticed that our speech crafter, Sendil Kumar, took the standing position in front of the camera when he started his speech. That itself showed that he is ready to go beyond the speech crafting course and create this great communication club in his company, Toastmasters Club in his organization, Client Network Services India Private Limited. I should also say it in bold words that his speech doesn't look like a icebreaker speech. It was a heartbreaking speech with a lot of emotions while he described his educational background and the problems he encountered during that time. We get to know about him as a hardworking individual who struggled hard to reach his destination. The structure of his speech, it was wonderfully crafted with very good introduction body and closer. In the introduction, he asked us to travel along with him in his journey from Salem to Chennai. What a wonderful introduction. Then the body of his speech, he has chosen the chronological order from his childhood to adulthood in the body of the speech. That was also very well done. Then at the end, he gave us a message, message of three principles he got from his mother. That was great. It was not like an icebreaker speech. Again, I have to emphasize. It went beyond that icebreaking speech. It transcended into our mind. And we liked the way in which he presented the speech. Welcome to the Toastmasters Club. I'm sure that you are going to start the club very soon in your company. And with all your hardworking capabilities, you will be definitely become a great communicator and leader in your personal life and your professional life. All the best, Sandil Kumar. Thank you. Over to you, TMOD Toastmaster Abhirami. Bye. Thank you so much for your uh, evaluation, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati. That was just like another poem that you had written. Thank you for that. So next we will uh, hear uh, from the next evaluator. So we'll have Toastmaster Srikant uh, Kutikrishnan who will be evaluating our speech crafter Deepak's uh, speech. Now to say a few words about uh, Toastmaster Srikant. He's an other veteran from uh, Chennai Toastmasters Club. So today is a double Dhamaka day. So we have two veterans from the club. Uh, so Toastmaster Shri Kant is a very charismatic uh, speaker in the club. I recollect in the club most of the times when we have guests, they used to become members looking at Toastmaster Shri Kant. That's the way it used to be. Uh, Toastmaster Shri Kant actually works uh, with the Southern Railways. And when you ask him about himself, he tells that I'm a public speaker and a spiritual aspirant. So on this note, uh, the stage is yours, sir. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coordinator Abhirami. Well, uh, listening to Deepak, I would like to evaluate him as a speaker, first time speaker. What I really noticed in Deepak and what are the traits that he have? some natural abilities that is there I've seen in Deepak is what I would like to evaluate upon. We came to know about Deepak, all his background, all the information, well done, that was really good. But what I really admire about Deepak is the way, as a speaker, the first and the foremost thing that we need to have 
is self confidence everything apart comes secondary so deepak was well within his limit of being confident he was sure about what he was speaking he didn't have a, a any moment of doubt what should be spoken or what did i miss out even though he might have missed out on certain points but he never paused in between to think what he has left out and trying to recollect but that is where any speaker fumbles and the audience gets to know about it but deepak didn't have those kind of a roller coaster ride he was very fluent he was going through the flow and he was doing what was required to be done i want deepak to work on this confidence that he has because that's one of the important thing you need as a speaker the second thing that what i noticed was he had the appropriate command he had the appropriate pause he had what was required i'm sure this can be polished and improvised it can go to the next level a notch higher but as a raw speaker speaking for the first time on a toastmaster speech craft this is what i noticed and he can work on that so that it starts improvising and he started he started becoming a better version of him and the next is uh, what his gestures his gestures was not appropriate but he made an uh, an attempt to speak on gestures with the words that he was saying so all these seems to be very good what is there within deepak so i i want deepak to work on this you have a good confidence you need to work a little bit on your gestures and also you need to have more and more of humor and a little touch of personal stories and emotions because a human mind i believe really connects with emotion so if you can do this over a period of time not overnight i think you can become a very good speaker i am sure you are a good speaker to begin with thank you very much and back to the coordinator thank you thank you uh, toastmaster shrikant for that uh, detailed uh, critical evaluation so next we will hear uh, the evaluation for speech crafter charles speech So we'll have Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati back on stage. Over to you, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati. Thank you once again, Toastmaster Abhiramy and Toastmaster and the speech crafter. Our speech crafter Charles. He started his speech straight away like an arrow, detailing his qualification and then family life, and then get deep into his. describing his family members we come to know that he is a great affectionate family man he described about his mother as a gold medalist and his wife as a great it professional so his initial part of the speech was more about his family than about himself i like the way in which he presented the speech well done charles and then come the came the part of that broken arrow the title of his speech the first love of his life i appreciate the way in which he structured his speech by bringing the introduction briefly about himself and family and get into the most interesting part learning part of his life which he shared with us in detail about his first love by giving the title broken arrow i would say that it was not a broken arrow it is a sharpened arrow that sharpened his life and also it gave us also a very good message to sharpen our life as well on the description of his father headmaster talking to his first love that was a great picture that was a pictureization in front of our eyes you know we could see how he coolly handled that and how was Once we become father, how we should handle these type of uh, happenings in our children's life? That was a very good lesson for us, uh, Charles. I enjoyed that very much. That showed you you are humorous and successful. You bring that message in a humorous way. Very good message in a humorous way. I am sure that you will become a great leader in your future life. already you might be a team leader in the company i don't know but after joining the toastmasters club you will definitely improve your leadership and communication skills to become a great leader and become a great communicator i was not thinking that it was an it was an icebreaker speech it was a speech inspirational speech 
inspiring us, giving us some message. Please continue this and all the best for you to transcend and to go beyond your capabilities by joining the Toastmasters Club to become a great communicator and leader. All the best. Thank you, Charles. Over to you, Toastmaster TMOD Abhirami. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Nagendra Bharti. Though I tell myself I shouldn't uh, use uh, Tamil when I'm speaking, I still feel like saying Kavida, Kavida. That's what I feel like saying. Okay. Next, uh, we have the next uh, uh, evaluator. So to evaluate uh, speech crafter Barani Dharan's speech, we have Toastmaster Abhilash. Toastmaster Abhilash is a very good friend. He was the immediate past president of uh, Chennai Toastmasters Club. So in the XCOM there, we all work together as one team. So working and growing has been uh, the legacy at uh, CTM. He's a chartered accountant and uh, he's a very, very good speaker and he's been winning all those contests out there. So on this introduction, uh, let me hand over the stage to Toastmaster Abhilash. Over to you. If there was one introduction, you know, that made me nervous, that was that particular introduction. So a very warm good afternoon, uh, dear speech crafters, and a very warm good afternoon to speech crafter, or I could even say Toastmaster Barani Dharan, no doubt there. Toastmaster Barani Dharan, what a beautiful speech, you know, when you started with your introduction, thunder, lightning, people writing all over the town and the women's cry. Oh man, I was actually, you know, as you watch a serial with a face so interested, that was the level of interest you gathered through your introduction, beautifully done. The second thing which I did want to appreciate you on was the way you used subtle humor throughout your speech. That one particular instance where, you know, you said you were in a class where more than 20, 25 were girls and you were very shy. And then you shifted to a, another class where just two people were girls and you felt happy. Good use of humor there in your icebreaker, Barani. And then let me commend you. You had an excellent organization in your speech. You spoke, you know, chronologically through your school to college, your job. And let me tell you, there was a touch of inspiration as well when you spoke about your struggles, how you found a job and all those. And when you ended off by stating your aspiration, I think that was a job well done and well-rounded. You delivered more than what your icebreaker does, you know, require. So that is a part well done. Barani, with so many good things, let me tell you just one suggestion that I have, confidence. You have such a good language, you have such good use of humor, everything here. Uh, this is going to come with time, but this is anyway just a recommendation which I do give you. Be a little more confident next time onwards, okay? There is no need to worry. The way you've delivered your speech today was really awesome. So from next time, the only thing I would like to see you come here is with a little more confidence. That is all. So those things anyway take time. So I was more nervous than you. what I have noticed you when I gave my first icebreaker two years back. These things will come with time, but ensure you build your confidence. All right. So I loved your humor. I loved your introduction, man. Great work. You're going to go places. Back to you, Madam Gentle Evaluator. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Abhilash, for that meaningful evaluation. So for the first time, and probably this will be the last time where I call the same evaluator immediately again to evaluate. So I'll probably can I call you after uh, the next one, Abhilash? Will that be better? Okay, then probably I, we will move on to the next uh, uh, speaker. Uh, next evaluator, we have uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi evaluating speech crafter Sundar's uh, uh, speech. Now, uh, to say about uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi, Toastmaster Lakshmi is the Vice President of Education at Chennai Toastmasters Club. Uh, he is, again, a very good friend. So the team that I, I was talking about is a team of me, Abhilash, and uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Lakshmi has been a really good team player and helping us in all the things that we delivered at the club. Uh, on this note, let me request uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi to present his evaluation. Thank you, Toastmaster. Again, good that I have switched on my camera. Otherwise, you're looking for a girl with the name Lakshmi. So it's good that I've turned on the camera. Okay. Disappointment. <laughs> for many. So, good, good morning, Toastmasters and speechcrafters. 
and uh, very special uh, wishes to my target speaker sundar raju right okay uh, sundar raju you gave your speech with a proper a uh, begin body and a conclusion bros to you for that you had done the job very well and as an audience i was able to know who you are and who your parents and brothers are and what they they were doing and they are doing right now and you then took me down to your life journey like how you completed your uh, education the bca mca and the various jobs you took at what point you also made me understand how the layoff impacted your life uh, i could uh, personally connect that very much to my friends who got impacted by layoff uh, uh, both in the early 2000 and also uh, you know they get back so i can very well relate to this impact of this layoff and i i was able to connect to it very well and of all your speech ended with a good note that i want to appreciate uh, you mentioned a friend in need is a friend in deep and it was a thank you note to your friend uh, sandeep kumar who's also part of this meeting and unfortunately i was not able to see his uh, reaction in the camera he was switched off his camera but it was a, a good gesture from you uh, 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 giving showing your thanks to your friend and i am sure you you are speaking from your heart you are not uh, just like that giving the thank you more okay uh, so overall i could uh, i could i was able to relate sundar raju as a person like person who can break all the odds and never successfully that's what the impact i came to know from your speech and thank you overall it was a very good speech however in order to improve your speech from uh, good to a better or to best and uh, here are my suggestion just a couple of suggestion uh, which is I mean, which is too early for ice breaker speech but still as, as i need to give a session and letting you know you look little nervous while delivering a speech and that's very obvious for a, a first ice breaker speech even i had that and almost all the ice breaker speaker will accept it and you can handle this easily by practicing and rehearsing your speech that's only session i could i could say like as he uh, as in the previous tdt uh, we mentioned about the practice makes man perfect and practice gives you more confidence also so please practice your speech and rehearse your speech before delivering it and secondly i could feel that you were speaking from your heart that is it's very obvious but however in that note like you are uh, you are not looking at the camera looking at the uh, 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 audience audience by mean we virtual audience looking at the camera you are looking somewhere else that's okay but still uh, if you can work on it it will be a, a definitely a better speaker and best speech in future so wishing all the best uh, to for uh, more more and more uh, better speeches in future thank you and what you can deliver with it thank you toastmaster uh, lakshmi narayana now i think it's uh, clear and better i'm so used to calling him lakshmi so yeah next we move on to the next evaluation uh, by uh, toastmaster abilash for speech crafter venkatesh over thank to you. toastmaster abilash thank you toastmaster abirami a very warm good afternoon once again venkatesh what a wonderful speech you had it was a well rounded speech i loved the way you talked about yourself your family your ambition and everything i felt there was something missing i started to know everything about your family and everything but i was wondering if i would get to know venkatesh as a person and you did not disappoint me all right towards the end when you said your aspiration was to you know make your children more confident and lead successful lives i got an insight into who venkatesh as a person was also so all those things were well rounded venkatesh i loved the way you spoke in detail about your family and everything cheers i am from kumbakonam as well so that was a small connect which i had with your speech as well so everything was ticked off family ambition self confidence you had a beautiful speech structure you opened well you had a good body and you concluded well now where would i like to see you better yourself i have just two points of uh, uh, probably a suggestion for you the first one you started off with saying thank you for giving me this opportunity that is not the correct way to start an introduction that is one of the most you know what do i say uh, most cliche introductions so try to you know deliver a little bit of a different introduction that is one small suggestion which i would have and the second one there were times when i felt you became a little bit more nervous 
that might be due to lack of practice i would suggest you to practice a little bit more and ensure you deliver with uh, confidence see you have a beautiful voice you had a you good story where you spoke of your struggles you spoke of your mom dad children your aspirations and everything well rounded story a little bit more practice and this speech would have been a real killer so please uh, what i would advise is a little bit more practice next time otherwise an excellent speech you spoke with very good self confidence and everything congratulations all the best for your future speeches i am definitely going to be here to listen to them back to you madam general evaluator thank you toastmaster abilash that was a very well crafted evaluation now again next we will hear from uh, toastmaster uh, lakshmi narayana to evaluate uh, speech crafter sumita's speech over to you toastmaster lakshmi uh, thank you generally uh, welcome abhirami sorry i was under the impression that was uh, evaluated by uh, another person it's okay i still had some points on it so uh, good evening speech crafters and uh, toastmasters uh, and uh, and i want to mention uh, sumita for giving starting uh, speech though she was there even to correct lately and uh, she was she was having a proper internet connection and we started with a, a good uh, introduction as well and thank you for that as and i think you're still in the call right <laughs> so so you began your speech very well with, with the proper introduction who you are like you mentioned that you are from an upper middle class you mentioned about your dad your sister is a doctor and you set this uh, stage right like to know who Sumi, uh, sumita is and i also came to know more about you after the speech about your uh, youtube goes now so with that i was able to understand who sumita is and what you are doing and how much struggle you uh, made to get into a job and that that actually met the objective like you gave a speech the proper uh, the begin body and and conclusion that's uh, again kudos to you for that and uh, i i remember you mentioned about your uh, 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 job the first job into where you, you you honestly said that you want to work for one year and then that impacted your uh, uh, interview decision and you were not able to continue your job and that kept you traveling and in search of job for another two decades here yeah. that i can very well connect because uh, the many of the people here they can connect it very well their job search and how difficult it is to find a job one small mistake could take you to a uh, different path as such and you make you your that i think that experience has made you it made you uh, get certified in java and you are doing uh, more such uh, youtube's and helping people to learn i kudos to you for that and uh, with all this with, with all this information i i like uh, the so there are some sort of certain humor also you mentioned about your college you said your dad put you in a women college and that shattered your uh, colorful dream about the college life that that is that has a lot of uh, humor usually i see men giving the uh, kind of humor and you are not hesitant to uh, give the team i really appreciate you for coming out and giving such jokes okay that's really really good for your speech and overall i like your speech it was an excellent speech and uh, i didn't find anything specific for you to uh, uh, improve as such uh it was a good speech you seem to be a very experienced uh, speaker please uh, focus on your practice and for each speech and come with a better script and wishing you all the best for to you general level with your dinam thank you toastmaster lakshmi that was an awesome evaluation that you picked up on the way amazing uh next we will hear again from toastmaster abilash uh, to evaluate uh, speech crafter vignesh's speech uh i think abilash is not here i think we lost him okay mm okay we could do one thing we could uh, get the evaluation and hand it over to speech crafter vignesh over a paper if that's all right yeah and even ranjit speech i think which got disconnected halfway we can get that also uh, over the paper so now uh, next it's time to hear the feedback from the next uh, set of team which is the timer our counter and uh, grammarian so i request the uh, timer toastmaster speech crafter shri priya to submit her uh, timer
thank you, uh, uh, Toastmaster Abrami. So uh, let me share my screen uh, on the uh, time record statement. So, uh, so uh, about the uh, first prepared speeches, uh, like uh, I think all are uh, qualified. So the speech crafter Ranjit uh, took 30 minutes, 22 seconds. Sindhil Kumar uh, took uh, three minutes, 28 seconds. Uh, Deepak took two minutes, 50 seconds. Uh, Charles took two minutes, 47 seconds. Uh, Barani took two minutes, 52 seconds. Uh, Sumita took three minutes, eight seconds. Venkadesh uh, took two minutes, 39 seconds. Uh, Sundaraj took uh, three minutes and Viknesh took uh, two minutes, 46 seconds. So all are like within our time limits, that is the three minutes uh, and the grace period, uh, 30 seconds. So all are qualified uh, uh, on the prepared speech. And on the table topics uh, uh, section, uh, session, uh, the, uh, we had uh, speech crafters as well as the Toastmasters speaking. So the Toastmaster Abhilash took one minute, 55 seconds. And Guru took uh, one minute, 25 seconds. Karthik took two minutes, 33 seconds. Nagendra Bharati, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati took uh, two minutes, 21 seconds. and. Uh, Toastmaster Srikant took uh, two minutes, eight seconds. So all the table topic sections are also qualified. And uh, coming to the general evaluations uh, on the sp speeches delivered. Uh, so the evaluators, eva uh, so uh, I have mentioned the evaluators and the respective speech crafters here. So uh, the evaluator, uh, Viknesh, uh, who evaluated Ranjit, took one minute, 22 seconds. Nagendra Bharati, uh, evaluator Nagendra Bharati, who evaluated Sintil Kumar, took two minutes, 31 seconds. Uh, the evaluator, Srikant, who uh, evaluated Deepak, took two minutes, 29 seconds. Evaluator Nagendra Bharati, uh, who evaluated the Charles, took two minutes, 53 seconds. Evaluator Abhilash took uh, two, two minutes, 17 seconds for Barani Dharan. And Lakshmi, uh, evaluator Lakshmi Narayan, Narayanan took three minutes, 14 seconds for Sundar Raju. Uh, evaluator Abhilash uh, took two minutes for Venkatesh. Evaluator Lakshmi Narayanan again took uh, two minutes, 39 seconds for Sumita. Uh, so here also all are qualified, which is within the three minutes uh, allotted time. So that's all with my report. Thank you and over to, uh, Jin, uh, over to uh, Abhirami. Thank <laughs> Sorry, you. Toastmaster Abhirami. Yeah. Thank you, Speechcrafter Shri Priya. It, it did, did not look like the first time you're doing this role. Uh, kudos. Uh, next, Thanks, we will, uh, yeah. next we will hear from our our counter Speechcrafter Manoj Kumar. Over to you. The stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Abhirami. So I was translated uh, to, uh, to an ordinary listener uh, to a great listener, uh, from an ordinary listener to a great listener because of counting the R's and arms, right? So I would like to uh, share the screen and uh, present uh, my evaluation on the R counter. use this one uh, while we do i hope uh, my screen is visible right yes uh, please craft a manuch okay so uh, when we look at the uh, roll calls right so i had uh, even though you would see that uh, the, there are some uh, names getting repeated i try to count their as in their respective roles so as a as a uh, roll call uh, officer like uh, vignesh use one r and two passes Radish, when, when he was a presiding officer, he just used one pass. And the Toastmaster Gita Timodi uh, used like a three plus hours and three repetitions and two pass. Toastmaster Abhirami general evaluated three plus hours and uh, three repetitions and uh, uh, one pass. TM Shivakumar, uh, Toastmaster Shivakumar, TT Master uh, used two hours and uh, three UNO, one repetition. Shri Priya, 
switch or switch we used uh, for a timer three plus pass uh, two repetitions and two pass and uh, myself i have used like uh, now now it is three plus now because while speaking i have been using so many hours so three plus hours and a uh, couple of passes uh, when i started the role as a grammarian uh, etm radish i made to evaluate him uh, because uh, he's, he just gave me one uh, repetition when he introduced about a grammarian role then uh, after this i'll again i think uh, share this okay. so for the prepared speeches uh, speech crafter ranjit used three plus uh, hours one repetition one pass sendil used uh, three plus hours one repetition one pass and uh, saravan was absent for the day deepak used three plus hours and one uh, repetition and two passes charles used three plus hours and two repetitions and two passes uh, suresh was absent for the day varidharan used two hours and three passes sumita used three plus hours and two repetitions and one pass venkatesh used three plus hours two repetition and uh, three plus passes and sundar used three plus hours uh, two repetitions and uh, three pass and i would like to give a big round of applause to uh, vignesh because uh, in the size breaker uh, i think from the speech crafter says i would really appreciate that he is the one who is a little bit of, uh, very little hours and uh, repetitions and pass that is just one hour one repetition and uh, two passes and vimal was uh, absent for the day and for the table topics uh, our toastmaster abilash uh, used you know uh, or well uh, three plus times and one pass and he, didn't, he did not use any as or om uh, okay speech crafter lokesh did not do the tt session uh, speech crafter guru used three plus as in the tt session and two passes and as uh, speech crafter kartikeyan used uh, three plus as and uh, two repetitions and two passes in the tt session and uh, toastmaster nagendra bharti sir uh, uh, used only one repetition and uh, one pass and he proved himself he is uh, the master Uh, again uh, and uh, tm shrigand also used one, you know once and the uh, repetition once and he never used any any pass and uh, there you uh, there you go like uh, we need to take some uh, guidance or inspirations from uh, uh, toastmaster nagendra bharti and uh, toastmaster shrigand and the evaluation section uh, we'll say that uh, yeah vignesh uh, toastmaster vignesh used three plus hours uh, toastmaster nagendra bharti during the evaluation he used like uh, two hours and uh, three repetition one pass and uh, toastmaster shrikant uh, used just one repetition and one pass and uh, tm Ab- abilash uh, used three value sorry the three uh, hours and uh, three plus you know one repetition during the evaluation and uh, toastmaster lakshmi narayana used three hours and uh, three passes during the evaluation so this could be only because they have they were evaluating multiple persons at the same time and uh, so that is the reason i just added the uh, entire counts into this list so over to you uh, Thank you, uh, Swish Crafter Manoj. That was a very elaborate uh, report. Uh, kudos to you. Now, next we will hear from the grammarian of today. Uh, over to you, distinguished Swish Master Ratish, to present your report. Thank you so much, General Evaluator. Most of you have transcended to use word of the day transcend. Here are here is my report. The word of the day was used by Toastmaster Abhiramu, Toastmaster Geeta, Speechcrafter Deepak, Speechcrafter Guru, Toastmaster Nagendra twice, and Speechcrafter Manoj. Kudos to you all. I am sorry if I have missed anyone's name, but here we can see equal weightage goes to Speechcrafter and Toastmasters. Good job, good job. And the good usage that I have noticed was beginners advantage. flashing cards depicting it's fun to work while studying offer quality education ambitions be good do good 80s kid master in managing family imagination nightmare always take risk in life face your situation friend in need is a friend indeed life is not a bicycle that there was a quote no pain in childhood inner beauty it sounded like inner engineering whenever life puts me down keep trying condensed practice makes us perfect expressed your gratitude thoughtful advice moment of doubt 
and few items which I've noticed to be improved. We at times mixed up the usage of he and she. We need to be careful in using when to use he and when to use she. And few things, things were get over to be said as things got over. Next speaker again, again is not required because the speaker is not repeating here. Completed this class to same school, completed X standard in the same school. One day asked my father, one day I asked my father, I was struggled, should be used as I struggled or I was struggling. And when I studying should be used as when I was studying. And a few areas on improvement on pronunciation as well. Help was pronounced as help. Uh, I felt F sound over there. Computer was pronounced as computer. N, okay, engaged as engaged. These are the items that I've noticed. And this uh, about my report. Thank you and back to you, General Warwick. Thank you, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Ratish. You seem to be a very, very vigilant grammarian today with your eagle eyes that shows on your report. So now it's time for my report. Let me keep it uh, crisp and uh, light so that we sail through the time. So first thing we started on time. Uh, uh, sorry, Tintet. I'll be after you or before you. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Let us finish the evaluation. I just got swept away in the usual uh, routine. So yeah, Abhilash is back. So let's have the evaluation of uh, speech crafter Vignesh. Over to you, Toastmaster Abhilash. Thank you. Thank you so much. Vignesh, a very warm good afternoon to you. The first thing that I really loved about how you opened was your voice. I'm sure I speak for everyone here when I say that your voice attracted me so much here, there was such, your voice is such a pleasure to hear too. That's a great asset you have. Make sure you use it well. The second thing that I wanted to really commend you upon was how you described your life journey. You described your life journey so beautifully. And especially when you came to your marriage part, you know, where you spoke so rich about your better half, I could almost feel the emotions running through you. That was indeed a very, very, you know, moving uh, depiction of how you, you know, presented your wife here. That one beautiful message on marriage that you gave, you know, inner beauty comes from kindness and that is what you have in your wife here. What a beautiful message to finish off your story. I think it was an all round speech. A little more, you know, I could have probably heard a little more about yourself was one thing I felt. Apart from that, I don't have any other recommendations. I'm going to go a little bit beyond the icebreaker things and everything here uh, because uh, see I your voice is such a great potential for you so I want you to improve make sure next time you can try a little more gestures and everything see this is going beyond your icebreaker because I feel you have that potential to definitely go way beyond all right so what I would suggest is when you do talk about such moving incidents and marriage make sure you know you use a little bit more gestures that will complement your voice so well all right so this is the only thing that i have beautiful speech you know that your speech was something which kept me you know raptured to attention throughout here that was the level at which your speech was kudos on your icebreaker all the best for your speech journey back to you madam general evaluator sorry for my connection <laughs> thank you toastmaster Pilash. that was again a very very detailed evaluation i'm sure uh, speechcrafter vignesh was delighted to have it on stage rather than over paper when i'm glad that you got back so getting back to the general evaluator's report so yes we started on time and that's a very good thing so the sergeant at arms was uh, bang on time and all the role players were also most of them were in uh, by the time the meeting started uh, we have got our internet connectivity very much in place. That seemed to be a boon in comparison to the earlier week. So kudos to uh, us for setting the Zoom connections well. And the best part of today's meeting is we had nine icebreakers. Isn't that amazing where nine people had done their preparation and had given a successful speech and none of them really struggled. Uh, it was uh, very well practiced. We, I could see it in the way you all delivered it. Amazing. Good job, uh, CNSI speechcrafters. 
and also we had the timer and our counter who were first timers today and they didn't look like first timers they just looked like any other toastmaster from our toastmasters club so to this extent i think it's an amazing uh, transformation it, all the efforts is showing on screen is what i would say and one more thing that i really liked about today's meeting was the word of the day everyone tried to use it very very good choice of word of the day uh, grammarian also kudos to each one of you for keeping it in mind even in pt or uh, in very generic stuff which is not prepared even there you are all trying to use it that shows how much keen you are in learning new words and improving uh, kudos to that so things that we can improve not many things but still a few that i would like to point out is uh, first thing today uh, the way we ordered the evaluators we have repetitions but because of certain backout and uh, the order changing it ended up that abilash was evaluating three speakers today so we can avoid that and try to assign uh, two so to do that i think we will also need a speech crafters uh, support where uh, people who do not want to give a speech they might have to inform well in advance so that the agenda is watertight and it can be produced a little early and even the speech titles the second part is a speech title some of them were a little blank so we can try getting the titles by thursday so that we have a very clear agenda and uh, we can save time over figuring out who is the next speaker so these are the two suggestions that i will have overall it was a very very good meeting uh, thank you so over to you uh, toastmaster of the day geeta ma'am okay so i think uh, geeta ma'am is having some internet connectivity so yeah so let me conclude the meeting thank you so much we had a great team of how we learn to give back to the society and uh, in our in our own sweet ways so thank you back to you presiding officer uh, distinguished toastmaster ratish thank you so much again it's me uh, ratish i think um, a tmod was looking for some specific item that should come out from us what i thought was probably a organ donation which is critically important because i have seen people uh, without something i mean to say the eyes or some inner parts struggling a lot if if it is really possible go and register yourself uh, for the organ donation after your life your parts will help or give life to someone else that's something beautiful that we can do and give it back to the society with that i'm removing tmod hat i'm going to wear the presiding officer hat today i enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed the meeting from start till end special kudos to those who are taking the role for the first time special mention to our our counter and the timer and really i enjoyed everyone's icebreaker icebreaker it was actually structured properly we started with a sweet message sweet macro macaron and we ended with very thoughtful and a gratitude message right so it was also very well structured thank you so much for that and now i would like to quickly hear uh, feedback or something if someone wants to say quickly um, or share your experience first time role takers i would like to hear from you uh, probably you can start with uh, speech crafter manoj how was your experience doing your role for the first time yeah uh, thank you rajesh uh, for <laughs> for calling me up I, in fact <clears throat> i wanted to share a couple of things one thing is actually uh, i was like uh, transcended i honestly say i was transcended from a ordinary uh, listener because uh, whenever uh, there is a meeting or there is a, there is something that uh, i will just listen to only the key points or maybe like uh, wherever i wanted to give a reply i would just listen to that part but today uh, from the beginning till the end i was just jumped to the seat and was just, my ears was uh, sharp and uh, my only goal was to search for us in wherever modulation or in whichever modulation it is coming from awesome awesome <laughs> thank you so much okay and secondly uh, one point i would like to add uh, so this uh, for the for the uh, tmod uh, uh, when gita was ma'am was asking the uh, like uh, donations and all the other things right so what uh, i would like to add as actually uh, one thing what we can give back to society as you rightly said organ donation 
as well as uh, the best thing uh, what we can give back to the society is our uh, valuable time in uh, with we can spend it with the society who are like uh, orphans or who are like uh, uh, I mean, abandoned by their uh, i mean like uh, kids and uh, the uh, elder elderly people so that give them the confidence that we are, they are not alone in the world we are there to support them awesome well said well said anything uh, would you like to share uh, speech crafter sripya yeah like uh, morning i was little worried and i was like uh, running to the uh, for the session and uh, i was like searching for the uh, green red and orange flashes uh, oh, oh my god it was there in my mail i have to search it okay i was opening it and i was able to get it and uh, like once i started with the first table uh, like uh, the our uh, prepared speeches then uh i was like okay now i can manage it and i uh, like opened the excel and i typed everything everyone's name and it was uh, good actually i really enjoyed and i was able to get uh, <laughs> great great thank, thank you. you so much and i forgot to mention one thing i love the way speech crafter guru used the word of the day it was not on his topic but he ended that beautifully that's the great impromptu Uh, skills uh, guru thank you so much for that with that i officially close this meeting but before that i'll hand over the stage back to toast master abrami for uh, the special session okay thank you uh, ratish i was just indicating about the polls so we could launch the polls and you could announce the winners okay i'm just launching the poll for the best speaker i hope you're getting it on the screen can you remove co-host from most of us so that we can also participate in the polling uh definitely i'll do that i was just thinking about it okay so who are all the co-host hmm yeah 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 removing all the co-host here you go except myself <laughs> hmm yeah so i think yes so everyone has most of you have voted to so, lakshmi did you get the option to vote after removing the co host yes. okay great so now let's move on to the next poll now this is for the tag role player we have not included the toastmaster in the picture so eagle eyes grammarian you are out i consider that as a win win yes <laughs> oh okay everyone has done wow hmm. this poll got faster you know ended faster so i'm just waiting ah okay let people vote So now again in TT, all the veteran uh, uh, Toastmasters are not included. So it's only the speech crafters who are into the uh, TT piece. Okay. Yeah. now into the best evaluator uh poll i see some of them smiling and voting it's nice to see people voting while launching the polls the some results we can guess <laughs> okay okay fine um yeah surgeon at arms in action we have a tie we might have to break the tie hmm. 
Okay. Now the best road clear. Okay, so this is also done. So we're done with the poles. I think yeah, we have launched all the poles. Yep. Okay. Probably now I'll give back our man the access so that he can share the results. But yeah, if you want, you can continue and announce the results. <laughs> okay, I'll only announce the results then. Okay, great. So the best tag role player for today is our counter speech crafter Manoj Kumar. Congratulations, uh, Manoj Kumar. The best TT speaker for today is the man who used the word of the day beautifully in his impromptu speech, speech crafter Guru. Congratulations. Come on, Guru, smile. <laughs> okay. The best evaluator for today is Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati. Congratulations, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Uh, the next uh, is the best speaker. The best speaker for today is... Okay, the best speaker for today is speech crafter Barani. Congratulations, speech crafter Barani. Good job. The last, the best role player for today is me, the general evaluator, Toastmaster Abhirami. Thank you so much. So on this note, I think we had a perfect meeting. I love the way we end it with polls. So having a poll is a very healthy practice, which helps us understand how the audience feel. So I think you also enjoyed having the poll this time. So in the interest of time, I think we will not be having the educational session this week. I think we are all already uh, had an overdose and education made bulldoze us. So let's not do that. So we will just, uh, you know, what we will do is we will just go through the uh, speech craft portal. So for this, let me take uh, Manoj's help. Uh, probably Manoj, once you uh, open the Speechcraft portal, you can start sharing. Yeah, sure, I'll just. Uh, I'll yeah, yeah. And I'll share the page. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, I'll just continue holding the fort. So here, uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm also seeing uh, Nagendra Bharti sir's message. So Shrikan sir and Nagendra Bharti sir, thank you so much for uh, joining us. You made the uh, session really special. Uh, keep coming. Uh, our speech crafters also will benefit uh, from seeing you perform. Do you want to share your uh, feedback, sir? How you felt about the meeting today, Nagendra Bharti sir? Yeah, very, very well organized and all the speeches were very beautifully crafted. Enjoyed the session. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Now getting back into this uh, speech craft portal piece, I'm sure all of you have your access to now. Uh, did you all get the emails in your official mail? If anyone didn't get, please show of hands. I, I hope even those who have not switched on the video are not raising their hands. Okay, so if anyone didn't get the access, please reach out to me. We'll have to check it because your certificate is based on this access. Your certificate will be generated from here once your uh, Speechcraft coordinator approves it. So ensure have you have your access. Now this access I hear from Manoj is somewhere similar to what you have in your uh, office portal. I hope it looks similar and you find it easy. So the first step here would be to launch the survey. So survey in office also, we take many surveys. There are a lot of surveys. Surveys takes time. But one good thing about uh, the survey is it will help you understand where you stand at the start and what areas you can focus on specifically. So now, Manoj, if you can show us uh, how to uh, how you open the site and how it looked like and how you launched the uh, survey. Okay. 
Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, so as soon as you log in, uh, you will see sorry, your, your, your name. Sorry, I was on mute while you're talking, right? No, no, Nagendra Bharti, sir. Oh, you could hear that, yeah? Very well organized. Yeah. Congrats, Sabirami and uh, Tenutru, right? It is a combined effort of uh, CTM and Tenutru, right? Uh, we have just Ratish joining from there, sir. CTM is organizing the uh, CNSI speech craft. Great. Great, well done. Yeah. So you are going, you are going to see another postmasters club in that IP organization, right? <laughs> very soon, very soon, hopefully, right? You should see, sir. Yes, at the moment uh, it's to the speech craft, so that made some that may be something that may come in the months. So yes, we'll sir. have to watch out. I am seeing a lot of great communicators and leaders in that organization. Soon they will start the CTM club. All the best. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Manoj. So as soon as you uh, just log in, uh, you'll be seeing this uh, particular platform. Uh, I mean, uh, this particular page. Uh, this is like this will give you the welcome and your name and the, uh, the organization. Then uh, you'll just go to this uh, page. You'll see a button with "Go to my uh, Speechcraft Learning." Uh, and you will have the dates and the timings, and also you will have the uh, coordinated names uh, and this email address. So your uh, respective coordinators' uh, name and email address will be displayed under your login. Once you click on Go, now you will be able to see this uh, particular uh, page: Home Learning and Tutorials and uh, Dashboards and. Uh, Tutorials and resources and dashboard. So this will look uh, something similar to our uh, uh, learning portal. Uh, I hope uh, everybody would remember this one, home and the learning button and the tutorials. All these uh, buttons are looking uh, similar uh, the way we what we have in our uh, CNSA learning portal. And there are uh, around uh, in four surveys. So I, since I have started the uh, survey, uh, the before survey and the submitted I mean, like the survey, it is not showing up uh, here for me. However, I will be able to access this by clicking on uh, learning. So once I click on learning, you are seeing the service, which is, since I have already added, I mean, launched it. It is showing me the option to evaluate. So you'll see this yeah, self-assessment before. I'll try to launch it. I hope is my screen still visible, right? Yes, uh, Manoj. Uh, are you seeing the PDF or are you seeing? The I'm PDF? seeing the PDF file. So this PDF is an instruction of how to launch the survey. So more or less, Manoj will be following the same instructions, right, Manoj? Yes, yes. So uh, in this PDF, you'll see that uh, once you click on the self-assessment uh, before survey, it will turn to. So as soon as you launch it, uh, you you will have seen this page, right? Now. Uh, the evaluate button uh, is coming right. So similarly, as soon as you uh, uh, as soon as you launch it, it will uh, go to in progress status. Then you click on this uh, learning. Then you need to just mark it as complete once you have done uh, done the self assessment before. Then you will get the after clicking on the mark it as complete button, you will click you will get the evaluate uh, button. Okay, so I'm just closing this PDF. Back to this one. Now you are seeing the evaluate button. So once you click on the evaluate button, then uh, okay. Now you, you need to make sure that uh, your pop-ups are uh, uh, enabled. Pop-up blocker is uh, disabled. You will get this particular button, evaluation uh, self-assessment before, and you click on continue. This will give you ask you the questions, okay? And uh, you can do I mean whatever. This is going to be self-assessment. So what is your uh, current thing? And it, this has many pages, okay? So I haven't done the evaluation because I wanted to uh, show it to you during the presentation. So as soon as you guys, you guys get this, uh, you can just go and fill in the survey. Then uh, you can submit it. Okay. So once that is submitted, uh, you will get all the other things. Okay. Before I go to this uh, icebreaker evaluation uh, resource, because since I have opened uh, this already, I, in most of the cases it is showing me as uh, like uh, mark as complete, but when you uh, when you log in, it it will show us launch. The first first button you will see here is launch. Okay. I'll just go to my uh, profile, and in this tutorials and resources, okay, first you what you need to do is click us, click on tutorials and resources. 
now you would see all the tutorials and resources uh, which is like speechcraft evaluation resource speech outlines and uh, speechcraft uh, craft faqs if you click on speech outlines you will see the uh, icebreaker outline uh, persuasive speech outline and the speech outline worksheet everything is a pdf and you can uh, you can open this material and uh, you can use it uh, for preparing your speeches okay. now you just click on launch this one this will give you an outline and worksheet about yourself so as we discussed right uh, as we structured our meeting from uh, one is to three is to one so all the structure uh, thing and this is an editable pdf and you can just uh, type in your uh, speeches and uh, you can just practice you use it and practice it now just closing this similarly for the upcoming speeches and all the assessments right you will see the self assessment before uh, the guidelines the midway and the after and uh, the feedback uh, uh, survey and all these things are uh, accessible and you can just do the uh, evaluation vignesh maybe can we focus on that piece where uh, we had that learnings right there was some material which was talking about the powerful words if we can go to that one one is that they were focusing on the assessment to be taken now the materials and all though they are there i will generally try to put it in the group so that people don't have some confusion so to the portal i think it will be three things one will be the survey the second will be uh, now he will uh, manoj will show you where to look at the learning there is a learning material available third as and when you finish a speech you can mark it complete there now for example ice breakers those you have finished i think uh, manoj just showed how to mark the ice breaker speech complete so those these were three things that you will actually do with your portal but yes you can explore and understand what is there but anyways all the relevant material i'll be posting in the group yeah okay so uh, you guys would have, would have seen that uh, Manoj, you have marked your icebreaker complete, no? You have marked it. Yeah, everything. It says mark yeah, complete. So. Mark complete. Okay, but it says okay. It is asking you to okay. Ah, uh, icebreaker evaluation resource outline. Just come at the bottom. Okay. No, uh, here, uh, even though I have marked it as complete, I think uh, I need to show. it was it was showing one second it was showing me that my evaluator needs to acknowledge that then only it will it will come come as like uh, correct i recollect yeah. it was saying uh, some pending approval okay pending evaluation self that is for self assessment maybe just see if you can mark your ice breaker speech also complete but you don't seem to be uh, having an option here i think if you mark everything complete then the last step will be to complete the uh, step one just scroll down further Ah, uh, so when once you mark complete everything, then the speech craft learning you can uh, that last uh, thing you can yeah. launch that also and mark mark it as completed. So here uh, I just launch the uh, session. Once you launch the session, mm. uh, you will see the resources and you will see the main menu. Mm. Here it is a self navigation, self learning thing, the body language, I mean whatever the topics prepare. You click on each of the item. And uh, there will be uh, uh, inter. I mean, like uh, there will be links inside each of the item, and uh, you can just go go through this and uh, uh, start the project, and you can just uh, go go through the introduction and uh, uh, complete your uh, like uh, training sessions here, so the basic trainings. so these resources are more like whatever we discussed during the first meeting whatever presentations were made this yes. is put more in the uh, word format so if you want to yes. can actually give the high level reading that will help you somewhere when you are speaking when you are preparing all these small small points or what you will use when you are crafting your speech like using mm -hmm. the words or uh, using a pause or all those things is put in a theoretical format so you can read it once it will help you Yeah. So, Manoj, yeah, so do we have? 
yeah yeah go ahead much i think this is pretty much uh, in the portal and uh, when we just go stage by stage we can just use this uh, portal and uh, do a self evaluation of all the uh, sessions like uh, before midway and after uh, and also you can just complete your once uh, as i mean who are as completed ice breaker range market is complete and it will go to your uh, coordinator and the coordinator will uh, acknowledge it and once he acknowledges it uh, it will be it will go as completed it will go as completed Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I just covered everything. You wanted to see anything uh, more, Adrani? I think it's uh, complete, uh, Manoj. Yeah. Yeah, actually, can I share my screen, Abrami? Because I don't have these many options as Manoj is having. So. Yeah, yeah, share. Go ahead, uh, Shikri. Uh, able to see my screen, uh, Abrami? Yeah. so yes. i'm having only these three options but uh, the um what is that uh, the uh, yeah. speech craft session other other options whatever manoj is having us i'm not do you want to go to your first page where you had the learnings and all yeah um, okay. i'm in that page click, only. click on the home click on home home button okay. uh, shivri okay. just below the below the Okay, so learning. I have. To... Yeah, click on the learning. I'm and having only. Just, three. No, no. Can we just go to Sripriya? Can you just go to the top, uh, the blue bar? Uh, yeah, you are seeing. Uh, yeah, tutorials and resources, right? Just click on the. Uh huh. And uh, so there are uh, multiple resources, right? Uh, you can just click on any of the resource, and uh, I mean. maybe like okay. uh, you can just go to the uh, speech out uh, self assessment before correct yeah this is you should go to tutorial resource and then click self assessment before i think this will be a better way to tell them because for each of them if it's not appearing yeah yeah this one actually i have fall i have taken it oh if you have already taken then that's all you have taken it no yeah Stand but um, okay this is coming as this. a pdf <laughs> Mm. but the other options um, i was not having that is what i was checking for as uh, and when you open it up here there when you explore yeah. it uh -huh. okay you have nothing as and when you open each of the things and try to read it it will start appearing at your main uh, like you have uh, tutorials no, 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 not that one not that shubhya uh, you need to just click on the tutorials and resources you need to just open everything you can just uh, scroll around and see yeah. additional things uh, as and when you open it you can just click on the uh maybe like okay okay actually these evaluation manuals or those you will use when you are evaluating now your ice breaker was evaluated by a toast master so they read it and then they decide how to understand how to evaluate the speech okay okay so just like uh, we'll have parameters to give a feedback uh, in case you have a you are a line manager and you have a report you will have the basis in which you give them a feedback so these are similar structured uh, guidelines Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. since you have opened the uh, outline, right? If you go to the uh, learning page, you will be seeing. Uh, okay, that things. in my session. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. You'll yeah. See okay. It's getting add added up. Okay. Yeah, I got it, uh, Manoj and Abhrami. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, does any one of you have questions? Uh, sorry for the background noise. I think you will all have questions once you open it. probably just go through and explore so to reiterate first thing take that first survey that's the first thing and those who have finished your ice breaker try to mark the ice breaker related uh, stuff complete and also try to read what is there in the portal so if you are doing these three i think it is enough because we are already anyway sharing the relevant material for the relevant week in the group because i didn't want you to get confused seeing so many documents out there So I think this is ask one to do the survey, and if you have finished the ice breaker, try marking it uh, complete. If you are not able to, we will see next week how to go with that. For a minimal, just at least finish the survey and read through the material at a high level. So if you read through that for uh, this week, it it will be good. Uh, actually, we will not be having the uh, speech craft session for the coming Saturday. Uh, because at CTM we are having a contest where all the Toastmasters will be preparing for the contest. It's an international speech contest, so that will be the Sunday. 
so the coming Saturday, we will not have the session. Rather, we will have the session on the next Saturday, which would be on uh, 5th of uh, March, right? So for the intervening period, you can go through this, uh, uh, you know, the Speechcraft portal and read through that material. And also I will be sharing with you the material for the uh, preparation of the next speech. So uh, that way you can start preparing for the next speech, however it will be in the next week. So the, probably the mentors will look at it post the contest after the 27th, which is our contest date. So that is the announcement that I wanted to make. So apart from this is one more thing that I wanted to say, I'm not quickly getting it. I think one was the uh, closure. Yeah, one is the movement of the dates. Another thing, yes. So we have the Chennai Toastmasters meeting happening every Sunday. So I can share the meeting link in the group. If you're interested to come and see how the meeting happens in the club, you will see all the people, Abhilash, uh, Agendra Bharti sir or Shri Khan sir, they will also be doing other roles there. If you're interested, you can uh, drop in and have a look. There is also an educational session tomorrow on body language. There is one uh, speaker. She is a very veteran speaker and she's won many, many contests. So Pankaja, Toastmaster Pankaja. So she is coming and delivering a, a, a session, educational session on how to use body language in your speech. It may be too early, but still you can come and have a look. So I'll anyway share the uh, meeting, uh, meet, uh, Zoom meeting ID in the group. It will be 4 to 6 tomorrow. It's a Sunday meet, 4 to 6. Yeah. So any, any questions, any feedback? I know everyone has had an overload of info, especially in the last 15 minutes. So we all must be taking time to digest it. So any questions, anything you can say now or you can put in the group, you can always have an open uh, conversation going. I know we have all been chasing you left, right and center, uh, just like in uh, school or uh, work. But I think it's just a nine weeks program. And if we don't do that bit to push you and deliver things, I think uh, that there's no point. Uh, as long as you deliver and move on, that's when you reap the benefit in the end of the session. So, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to put it across. It's not making you feel bad or pushing you. I know everyone is held up with work. So just try planning and uh, fitting your uh, practice because I've seen people who have practiced, put your hands, how many of you had good, good amount of practice finished by Wednesday, Thursday? Very nice. Deepak, I definitely saw the change because I recollect when Deepak was speaking first time in the TT. Deepak, do you remember? To that time, to today, what I saw, Deepak, really, really big difference. The practice showed, showed a lot in the confidence that you spoke and if the, the preparation made him eager also to come. That definitely uh, was there. Keep uh, going, Deepak. And Vignesh, very, very nice uh, speech. Very soft, good pace you had. And it was a really good one. You really have a lot of uh, potential. Slowly, we are seeing who, who all are having different kinds of uh, uh, potential here. Really, really good. So any, any, any feedback, any more questions or feedback? I think there are no questions at all. I was only speaking something. So yeah, so if there's nothing more, let's wind up. It's already 12.40 and let me release you all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You all. Thank you all. Yeah. Bye.